Dozens of Tucson Solar customers stuck paying for loans on jobs that were never completed. The credit union that issued the loans says the solar company abandoned the jobs. The solar company's owner tells a different story. Of course, Nylander has more on tonight's News for Tucson investigation. Tucson Old Pueblo Credit Union advertises itself as Tucson's number one solar lender. Its CEO says this is a case like he's never seen before, causing a change in how they do business. For the customers, they are left in financial turmoil. No show, no call. $21,000 the total. That's a lot of money to be on the hook for with no solar. They haven't given me or anybody else indication of what the resolution could even look like. What do you do? I mean, we're all hoping to get our money back, but it doesn't look like it's going to be a, uh, an easy task if, if it even happens at all. That's just five of at least 39 customers the Tucson Old Pueblo Credit Union says hired Tucson Solar Pros waiting months for solar projects that were never completed. We have um, ones going back to August of last year that uh, have been fully funded and there has been no action whatsoever on the installation of their, their solar program. Tucson Solar Pros is owned by Daniel Ridlinghafer, licensed under his Psalm 112 LLC. The credit union CEO, Vernon Babylon, says they received responses from him, but no actions to indicate the jobs will be finished. Usually promises of reaching out to other people, and um, you know he, he accuses us of giving him a bad name and making accusations, and all we're doing is helping our members understand the situation and how dire the situation is. The News 4 Tucson investigators went to Tucson Solar Pro's office. The front door has an employees only sign. No one answered the door. We got hold of Ridling Hafer via email. He agreed to do an interview. We gave him more than a week to set a time and place. After consulting a lawyer, he declined an interview but sent a statement saying in part, the biggest mistake we've made was using one financial institution for all finance solar projects. 75% of our business is financed, and I now realize that we unknowingly put our company and all our customers at risk. For that mistake, and any other mistakes made, I apologize. He said a few months ago the credit union imposed two changes that delayed hundreds of thousands of dollars to him by a magnitude of about 30 times. He claims these changes were implemented overnight, back to back, and retroactively. He says if the credit union won't work with him, the future is grim for his company and customers. Babylon says the statement is simply inaccurate, and they only made changes to their agreement once they realized many customers weren't getting jobs done after the projects were fully funded. Nothing, he says, was retroactive. I asked Riddling Hafer where the more than $1 million the credit union says he was paid went. He said he would have to talk to an attorney before saying more. Babylon says the credit union will no longer disperse 100% of the funds to companies before any work is done, but the customers we spoke to say that doesn't help them most feel Tucson Solar Pros and the credit union are both responsible. Seems to me that if you're giving out what appears to be hundreds of thousands of dollars of other people's money away as a loan asset, that you would do more underwriting and you would do more verification of who you're giving the money to. I would hope that the credit union would admit their negligence before I go get an attorney and just say, okay, this is what we're willing to do. Babylon says the credit union is giving customers a 90-day grace period without bills for the loans. He encourages the customers to file ROC complaints. Most have. The ROC says it has received 21 complaints for abandonment against Tucson Solar Pros and filed 10 citations against the company. The ROC says Riddling Hafer missed the deadline to respond to some of the complaints, which has now resulted in his license being suspended. That is based off just one complaint, so it is possible he could see his license revoked soon, depending on the other cases. Most of the customers we spoke to say they are planning on filing lawsuits against Riddling Hafer or the credit union. Investigating for you, Corus Nylander, News 4 Tucson.